I can understand, but I can't speak. Hello, it's me Nico from Just Speak Up English, and today I'm going to break down the main problems and solutions of passive speaking. But before I start, I've got short notice. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please don't hesitate to subscribe. Thus, you will be joining language learning adventures and besides a lot more. Now, let's begin with Would you like to speak English more confidently and fluently? I'm sure you would. Then, you should definitely watch this video till the end. As I'm an active teacher, I always come across what sayings. Teacher, I understand what I can't speak. Then, what is the matter? If you ask me, I could say frankly that the answer is simple. Applying wrong approaches of teaching and learning second languages. Nowadays, unfortunately, many public or private schools, including language centers, use old-fashioned, traditional methodologies of teaching and learning second languages. You could imagine yourself that although some students have been learning a language for five years, they are not able to speak. If you deal with similar problems to speak fluently and confidently or considering yourself as a passive speaker, we could try solving your problems together step by step. As I am a teacher, to be honest, it's vital to do reading, listening, writing and grammar exercises but you shouldn't forget that language is communication thus it means speaking matters a lot under my observation and according to the researches it's clear that input of information should be only 30 percent but output of the information should be what the rest 70 percent it means there should be balance in between absorbing information and using it therefore we need to practice language i could say that the biggest problem for second language learners arising where they lack speaking practice. To put it into neutral, we all agree that speaking practice is vital for speaking more fluently and confidently. Because solving grammar, listening, reading or writing exercises unfortunately won't be enough. Even more, it could be just waste of time but there is arising another problem when students always complain that teacher how can i practice speaking when i don't have any language partner in real what is solution what can i do my answer should be simple if you want to speak more fluently and confidently, you should definitely try to practice with native speaker. It is the amazing, the best opportunity to use. But thanks to God, technology is improving skyrocketly. Therefore, it offers a lot of opportunities to advance our language skills as well. Thus, you can use 
language apps. Even you can use your mobile phone to record your speaking and I'll then listen to it to find out have you got some mistakes there? Because I believe that self correction is the best contribution to advance your language skills. The next rule that we need to speak like a pro is making speaking your daily routine. It means that every single day you should practice. You should afford time for your language. Otherwise, it will be very hard to level up. We call it consistency. Language requires consistency. It's like a you know, inseparable part of acquiring any language. If there is no consistency, there is no update. And without update, language can't live. Because language is living instrument. It's alive. And every single day, you should feed language. Next, expanding your vocabulary. You know that language contains a lot of parts of speech. Words, word expressions. We have got idioms, we have got phrasals, and so on. Therefore, if you wish to speak like a pro, you should contribute to your language. Step by step, you can choose any topic that you would like to acquire. And around that topic, absorb information. But don't forget, absorb only 30% of information and afford 70% of your time to practice. That will be an amazing part of language. And the last, being silly. What I mean by being silly? Unfortunately, gaining self-confidence, it's very hard. You know, no one wants to make mistake, but you know, we all could make mistake. It's okay. You should be enough open to make mistakes. Otherwise, to acquire language will be very hard. When you go out from your class, you should communicate with people. Doesn't matter you are making mistakes, whether or not. The most important part is that you should practice. It's okay, you could make mistakes, but time to time, stage by stage, you will be improving. And then later, you will be correcting yourself. And this is the most joyful part. You know, when you are aware of you made a mistake and you are able to say, I'm sorry, but I wanted to say that, you know, it's the greatest part. Or... It's the greatest part when you dream in second language and you're able to dream, you know. You generate some ideas in your mind to the second language. The time, it means you have solved the problem. I understand what I can speak. And finally, if you wish to speak English language, more fluently and confidently that time don't afraid of being silly making mistakes but please don't forget to afford 30 percent of your time to absorb information and the rest 70 percent to use for practicing language that's all for today i want to believe that the tips will be helpful for you. If you like the content, please don't hesitate to subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave your comments how do you acquire language. See you next at Just Speak Up English.